How's it going guys, it is Erdiv here and it's time for episode number 6 of PAX 2 Division 1. Uh, in the last episode we continued our win streak up to 15 games now. And so with that win in the uh, last game of the last episode, we're going to open up another gold jumbo. We've got some uh, player of the game, Sochi cards out, uh, Oshi, Kessel, Doughty, uh, and Varlamov at this point, And a couple of Sochi team of the weeks. So if we could get at least a decent card uh, in this pack, that would be great. We did get that Camillary and the Le Cavalier in the last episode. And if we get something even better than that, that would be fantastic. So anyways, let's open up this pack, see what we're going to get. Pack is opening, we got the Switzerland logo, a couple jerseys, players, and not much. But we did get a couple players that can help out our team. Martin E right here, uh, not bad, 84 overall. He'll definitely uh, help out our team. And then Yarmir Yager, the legend himself, uh, will put him on our team as well. So two guys that can help out our team. Uh, I don't know if Saboka is good enough to uh, jump on our team, but we could always use him as well. Couple jerseys here. Uh, I guess we'll have to. Uh, no, we'll use the Switzerland logo over the uh, Sense logo. I'm going to use this ca black Capitals one because that looks cool. And we're going to use the LA Kings white jersey for that. And we have a couple contracts, that kind of stuff. But uh, pretty much nothing else. Plus five all for skaters. I'll use that once we get some duration cards. But, anyways. That's what we got in this pack. I'll go through my lineup and uh, we'll I'll show you my lineup for the next game. And so here's the lineup. We got Heatley uh, on our first line now, playing alongside Camilleri and Le Cavalier with Petri and Delzato still as our first defensive line. Then we got David Perron playing with Brooks Like and Martin Ira now with that chemistry for the Capitals team. Uh, we got Niskan and McDonald also on our second defensive line. Then we got Vermette playing alongside Legwan and now Brad Boys uh, with Mark Stone and Roman Yossi on our third defensive line. And finally on our fourth line, we got Saboka playing with Anisimov and Yager with Nabokov in net and Brian Elliott backing him up. So anyways, and let's go into the first game here against Blood and Ice. Got the uh, Boston uh, Bruins logo and jersey. And to start this one off here in the first, he is on the power play. Nice pass by Dozado over to Healy. Heatley is through with the speed and he just goes back and past the goalie. Nice job by uh, 15 07 to get the first goal of the game then later on here with five minutes into the second he's going to uh lose the face off it's going to be erat who ends up uh trying to get the puck it's ham who shoots and it's tipped in a lucky play there but unfortunately it's 1-1 then later on here heatley with a nice chance it's stopped camillary gets the puck he's giving it right back down to heatley and over to like heavily in front of the net who puts it away and makes it two to one nice job uh by our team there to get that goal and then look at that play by heatley to uh try to get the puck he keeps it in it ends up getting, getting a pass from Niskin and over to Le Cavalier. Le Cavalier to Camilleri. Look at this quick pass by Camilleri over to Healy. Goalie doesn't know what's going on. And Healy has himself a second of the game. Nice, nice job to see him there. Healy later on here. Another chance. Taking his time. He's going to fool the defenseman really easily here. And feed it right in front to Brooks Like, who's wide open and makes it 4-1. to one. And then finally with about a minute left in the third here. It's going to be Yarmir Yager, the legend himself. Playing it over to Saboka. Saboka is going to take the puck, pass it over to Yager, and just like that, it's 5-1. to one. And that is how that game finishes. A nice job by our team to win that one. 5-1. to one. Brad Boys ends up getting a concussion, so he's uh, out for a bit. 701 EAA pucks from that win, and we move up to 4 points in Division 7, so so far so good. Still undefeated, and uh, pretty good uh, stats here, as you can see. And the three stars of the game were Heatley, Le Cavalier, and Camilleri. And so with that dominating effort, a nice 5-1 to one win for our team. That extends our winning streak to 16 games to start it off. We're still a perfect 16-0. Uh, and if anyone's asking, wondering about the 20 losses, you have to play 20 games in order to collect collections. So I needed to do that in order to get the pucks on this account. So I didn't I didn't farm it, just people loan, lend me collections. So just getting that through because it's usually asked in every video. But anyways, let's open up another jumbo pack. Because we uh, won that last game in this, in this jumbo pack, we're going to open up a Nazem Kadri pack. So anyways, I don't think we've had opened one of these in a while. And uh, hopefully we get lucky here. Maybe a player of the game, maybe a hot live. I don't care. Anything that's over 86 will definitely do. Uh, let's take a look here. It looks like nothing. All right. So unfortunately, we get three centers. That probably won't help our team. Uh, Brandon Shad might be able to fit in our third or fourth line. But other than that, nothing really uh, to help us out here. We got the uh, Blackhawks logo. That's not bad. We'll use that right there. Uh, we'll take use this... Uh, We'll use the at Montreal one, which I think we already have. So I guess we'll just use that, which we already have. And Colorado, I guess we'll use the Colorado one. And the Oilers, which we already have, so we'll leave it at that. But anyways, we've got a couple contracts here. No duration cards once again, but anyways, a little bit of a weaker pack. But anyways, we'll be back with the uh, lineup for the next game. 
And so here's the lineup of the next game. We got Healy, Cavalier, the Cavalier still on that first line, with Petri and Delzato still on that first defensive line. Uh, Perron, Like, and Erat still on that second line. Then we got Niskan and McDonald still playing together. Third line now becomes uh, Vermette, Leguan, and Boys with Stone and Yossi. And the fourth line is Raiden, Shen, Anisimov, and Yager. So Shen, the only change there, now Goff still in net. And uh, we'll go into the next game, which is against the Flying 420. It's got the Pittsburgh Penguins logo and the Winter Classic jerseys from 0708. And to start off here, it's going to be Erak getting the pass. He's going to make a nice move, gets around the defenseman, feeds it across, and look at that shot by Perron. That was a fast shot. And with that, we go up 1 0. Then later on here, with about six minutes left in the first, it's a nice play by uh, Leguan here to get the puck. He's going to go in and a little light kick backhand to get the goal. I mean, sorry, by boys, to make it 2 0. Then later on here, Vermette's going to get laid out by the defenseman, but a nice shot by boys to keep it in. Vermette's going to pick it up, and he's going to feed it right in front to Like, who shoots it on the one timer and puts it away to make it 3 0. Then later on here, you're at once again with the puck, who's actually not a bad player. This is a nice little move past Steen's just going to snipe it past the goalie low uh, blocker side there and makes it 4 to nothing. Then later on here it's going to be Vermette picking up the puck. Vermette is going to pull back. He's going to give it over to Leguan. Leguan should pass it across and Boys is right there to put it away and make it 5 nothing. And then with 5 minutes into the third era with a nice move past Steinberg, he tries to do a double backhand. It doesn't work but he's going to pick it right back up and feed it over to Like who puts it away and makes this a 6 to nothing game, and that is how that game ends. So a dominant effort once again. And our winning streak continues. Petri and Yossi injured here uh, in this one. So we're playing with four defensive for most of the game, 820 EA pucks from that one, and up to six points in Division 7 now. And um, as you can see, domination on our part, 12 minutes to 2 minutes time on attack, and the three stars of the game were Brooks Like, Brad Boys, and Martin Erat. And so with another win that extends our winning streak to 17 it's time to open up another jumbo. So this time we got Tavares on the cover. If we could get a decent uh, pack here, uh, at least get an 86 in this episode, that'd be fantastic. I'm not really expecting much, but at least someone to improve our team would be great. So anyways, Johnny Tavares, we're opening up his pack, his jumbo. See what we get here. All right, boys. Popping open. See a cabinet card. See a duration card, which is good. And oh my goodness, that is an amazing pack because that will definitely help out our team. Take a look at that. Johnny Boychuk, first liner. Uh, Brent Jackman, first liner. Uh, Steve Ott might be able to throw him in on the fourth line. Colin Wilson, fourth liner. I mean, this is actually not a bad pack. Four decent players that could help out our team. I mean, if you're looking for pucks back, then definitely not a good pack. But at this point, I'm not uh, definitely uh, okay with that pack. So, anyways, uh, Rockford Ice Hogs will use that logo. Uh, I don't want to use it. Nordique, sorry. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, the Winter Classic one's pretty sick. Anyways, we have a duration card, so that's good. So we could use it on one of our uh, better players to boost them up for uh, quite a bit and use a bunch of a uh, training slots. So uh, that will definitely help out in uh, for that. But yeah, very, very good cards. we got Johnny Boychuk, Brent Jackman, who will definitely be our first defensive line right there. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to use them, and uh, I'll be back with the lineup for the next game. So here's the lineup after that good pack here. We've got Heatley, Camilleri, Le Cavalier, and uh, Boychuk now playing with Delzato. Then we got Perron. Like an era now Niskanen we have playing with Jackman, so a little bit of changes there. Then we got a uh, Vermette, Leguan, and Boys playing with uh, Mark Stone and McDonald on our third defensive line. Our fourth line now has Colin Wilson playing with Anisimov and the legend Yager. Then we got Nabokov and and Elliot still backing him up. So let's go into the final game against Mohamed Carpet. He's got the uh, Boston Bruins logo and jersey in this one. And it was a weird game because, as you can see, started off here about two minutes in. It's going to be the Cavalier with the puck. He ends up bringing it an offside on his own. A little bit of a weird play. And then out of nowhere, you know, just disconnection. <laughs> so I don't know what happened there. But as you can see, we ended up getting the win. So luckily for us, our winning streak extends to 18 games to start this series. We still haven't lost. And hopefully we could, there are better pulls uh, from PAX uh, to come in the future. So anyways, that was episode number uh, 6 of PAX to Division 1. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be back with more episodes in, during the week. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.